I really have a strong dislike for broke, cheap men. Like, do not invite me on a date if you're not taking me to Dubai. Do not invite me on a date if we're not going to Indonesia. <laughs> I ain't know you was trying to go to Dubai, girl. Yeah, you try you trying to go to Dubai? Okay. You know what I'm saying? You go you might need this. Um You probably gonna need this too. Me we definitely can go to Dubai. We <laughs> the recording, yes! 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 Give me the money recording! Why? I don't think so. Why? No, give me the recording! Give it to me now! Give me the recording! Give it to me! Give it to me! What now. recording? You're hanging a recording right now of me! <laughs> Next video. Isaac, what the hell? Oh my god, dude. <gasps> what was that for? I'm sorry. Oh. Why would you do that? This is next when these two couples decide to go into detail about how they met. It's actually a really sad story, and this is not a good thing that happened. I'm not really happy for them, to be honest. Sometimes you just gotta watch out who you bring into your family life. How do you two meet? <laughs> um, oh, sorry. My... This is my wife's best friend. Yeah. Didn't turn out too good for your wife, I assume. <laughs> no. When not you're a raging gun, it probably won't ever turn out right. Bronny. That's a sad situation, but it happens all the time. You introduce somebody you're interested in to your friend, and then, or your friend end up going behind your back and sleeping with the person you're interested in. You gotta be very careful who you let into your relationships. Men, like me, I haven't always been overweight. I've been popping in my time. Like, I was skinny, whatever, had all the things. Then I got, I had a babies, all the you start feeling like, that, like you're not nothing. I've been there. It's very hard. Bro, what? I Let's cut this out. What the f what the f is you being skinny and having all <laughs> got to do with anything? That, hold on, hold on, because hold on, hold on, because, hold on, be, hold on. But you've been with me for so long. Why do you keep talking about you having all the n and all this? We don't care. I don't we care. don't give a. F I don't care. We, hold on, we, look, hold on, hold on. But we don't care about you. Thought no, you was popping. You're popping now. You want to pop? We don't care. About you stop bringing that whack up, dog. What? Like, that was whack. Bro. No, just just stop bringing whack up, about bro. You we can't do that, bro. Like shut up. You can't do that. No, don't you either. don't care. I don't. I don't talk about you. You being popping, or you used to be popping, or I don't give a fuck about your TikTok. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Just let's You're stay right regular. Here. You don't have to use real. That's why I say you got to People go through it. Yeah, Girls but, go through it and guys go through it. Yeah, we, we do. You do. You feel me? And you just, so shut you know, up. Yeah, I'm it, not saying anything. I'm just saying. No, nah, but you, you it's just a, it's a, just the way you said and fuck with you. We don't have to you don't have to tell people, you know what I'm saying, what you've done and what you're doing like we we fuck with you already. You I'm know not what I mean? Saying that. You know what I'm saying? But next next topic, you know what I'm saying? I she get it. You feel cry. me? She don't about worry to cry. about the bankos. How you doing with I'm not you know saying, saying that. My boy she about to Kennels, you know what I'm saying? That's my boy, you know what I'm saying? He doing his thing. Go over there, tap into him, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and follow him on Instagram. He doing his thing. That's our Jeep cut. Yeah. He brought the Jamaican food oh. for the last stream, you know what I'm saying? I'll f with that. I appreciate you, man. He, he oh, brought yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? He did his yeah, thing. Yeah, Love you yeah. to death. You feel me? She up out of there. Um, she she up out of there. Hey, let me tell you something. Yo. That is 101 how to lose your girl. Now, from what I read in the comment section, um, this was his girl. Or is his girl. And I think he said, you've been with me for such a long time. Like, we don't care. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I don't be liking when my, when my wife talk about her past or whatever. But, yo, there's a time and a place for everything. You never embarrass your woman in front of your friends. And you definitely do Definitely, because they did that on the stream, live, in front of thousands of people. You definitely do not 
talk down to your woman like that in front of thousands of people. Let alone the, the thing you was talking down on her about. You feel me? Because, yeah, she was talking about she used to be popping back in the day. But she mentioned that she had kids and she gained weight. Postpartum depression is real. Postpartum depression is a real thing. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of women go through that. And men don't even realize that a woman is going through that. So, yeah, he... Rules 101 how to lose your girl, man. And then basically we have this woman. I guess she parked too close to the, the, the line of the curb. And this guy just parked correctly. And she ends up calling the police, standing in front of this guy's car, saying, oh, you parked too close to me. I couldn't get into my car when it's her fault for not even parking correctly. I let that man leave, man. You got that man blocked in over there. Look, man, that's crazy. She ain't even park right. That's crazy. Man, you have more important things to worry about. Like... Ma'am, you have more important things to worry about. You have to get to a neck, ma'am. You have to go get to a neck. You have no neck, ma'am. You have to get to a neck. <laughs> Yo! Yo, you can't take black folks nowhere. What does her neck have to do with anything, bro? You cannot take, yo, I promise you, you cannot take black folks nowhere, dog. Oh, man. Bro. <laughs> you have no neck, man. You got to go get you a neck. You out here being racist and you don't even have a neck, man. You got to get you a neck. You hear me? Man. Man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're about to toss it. They're about to toss it. There she go. She caught her fat. She caught, I know you ain't going. Uh oh. There they go. Uh oh. Uh oh. There you go. That's how you stand on five brothers and sisters. Man, you gotta go get you a nick now. Go get you a nick. <laughs> Check out on Amazon, man. Get you a nick. Oh. Now you gonna redo it on time now. Look, uh, ain't got nothing to do. Ma'am, you just wasted all your time in your life, and you still ain't got no neck. I hate miserable people. I've probably dealt with one Karen situation before in my life, and it was really, it was a guy. Like, it was an Indian guy. This is when we lived in Athens. Um, me and my co-worker was out there working out in the parking lot, in, our apartment, in my apartment complex, and... I want to set the scenery, bro. It was no cars where we were at. No cars. So we were mimicking a boxing ring. We sitting in the um, the middle of the parking spot. Mind you, there's no designated parking spot over there. So we in there working out, working out. I'm hitting the um, I'm hitting the pads, and this Indian guy pulls up with his wife and his. I think his daughter was in the car, and he's like, "Oh, I I I need to park there. I need to park there." And I'm looking, and I'm like, "Bro." What? Like, it's, it's nothing but empty parking spots. He just wanted to park in that distinct parking spot, bro. And I just felt, I felt some type of way, but I I just moved to the corner. Because we were in Athens. I ain't had no, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what type of rules Athens had. It was a small country town, whatever. But that was probably my only, like, Karen, real Karen situation. And thinking about it now... I should have handled it differently. Like I, we should have just stayed there and mind our business. You feel what I'm saying? And let him park someplace else. But I was so non-confrontational that I literally, I kind of, I feel as though I let, I let him punk me. That's how I feel. Even though it might be like you being a bigger, I was being a bigger person. I feel as though I let him punk me, son. <laughs> 